They call me MacGyver David. Um, and I'm going to show you how to change a hinge uh, so the door will swing from a left to a right or a right to a left, depending on which door you have. The first thing you, have, of course, have to do is you have to remove the screws. And the tool I like to use is the um, multi-tool. You can pick these up at Harbor Freight when they're on sale for about 15 bucks. And this is just a, a wood cutting blade. You're gonna cut straight across this way, straight across this way, and then you can sit it down and go straight out this way. Then you would put this up here and uh, mark your screw holes and you don't want the hinge all the way up against the door like that. It should be just about that much of a space on the back of the hinge. So then you'll mark these screw holes, hold the drill bit up and you look past the, um, look past the screw. So you put the drill bit in front of the screw and you should be able to look back across and see the threads or you put it behind the screw and you should not see the drill bit. That will tell you if you've got the right size. You just want the shaft of the screw, not the threads included. And then you hold your, your hinge up there, mark your, mark your holes, and then you would drill in the very center of each one of these. So you would drill just right in the center of each of those and then you'll run your screws in. Uh, if you were able to save this piece you could put it back over here otherwise you could glue that piece back in here. Now you can wood chisel and a uh, razor knife. So you would take your you would take your razor knife and you would have to score this. And the reason why you would score that before you cut it, of course, you would score that across there is so that that wood doesn't splitter out. And then you take your wood chisel and there's a bevel on the back of the wood chisel. You would set it just at the same angle as what the wood is. First of all, you would cut down here and cut down here. And then you would use that bevel and you would cut uh, chisel that out, use a hammer and chisel it, and that would pull that piece out of there. So if you don't have a multi-tool, you can use that. For the 15 bucks, I say go get a multi-tool. Okay, so you can see where I've cut the uh, uh, line here and here. That was actually on the other side when I flipped the uh, hinge around, and I just put this piece back in there. Also, did it on this one, and so you can flip the hinges. You just got to be careful, and if you cut those out, you can put the pieces back in so that it doesn't show so bad. And you can take some uh, uh, wax stick and actually put it in there, or a little bit of stain, so that that wood doesn't show on those. Other than that, so you would just remove these two screws, and there's two screws on the back side of the door handle. You would remove those, and that allows you to. Um, Pull the door handle out, 
you'd flip this around and then this part would go over on the other side and the other part would come on this side and you just flip them around pretty simple um, that's just about it you would put it back together and you're good to go